Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone, we have our new topic in Disaster Readiness and Rest Reduction, which is all about the geological hazard, rain-induced landslide, and sinkhole. So this will be the fourth quarter topic and module number six. For the objectives of this lesson, we will focus our learning objectives with the following. First one is to discuss the different geological hazards. The second one is to analyze the causes of geological hazards. And the third one is to recognize the signs of impending geological hazards. This module demonstrates an understanding of the various geological rest that occur in times of calamity. These are natural phenomena, and if this happens unpredictably, no one can ever stop this event. Geographer Gilbert White, father of the management of the floodplain, stressed that rest always arises from the interplay of social, biological, and physical systems. Disasters are generated by humans' behavior as much as by physical events. Did you know that between 2000 and 2012, natural disaster caused 1.7 trillion in damage and affected 2.9 billion people. In 2012, marked the third consecutive year of the worldwide natural disaster damage exceeding $100 billion. In 2011, reached a record high of $371 billion. Worldwide, in 2011, there were 154 floods, 16 droughts, and 15 cases of extreme temperature. Over one-half of the victims of both Hurricane Katrina and Hurricane Sandy were senior citizens over the age of 65. Work with seniors to create an emergency plan in case of a disaster. Sign up for seniors safe and sound. Floods are the most widespread natural disaster aside from wildfires. 90% of all U.S. natural disasters declared by the president involve some sort of flooding. Earthquakes are disasters that cause associated destruction of man-made structures and instigate other natural disasters such as tsunamis, avalanches, and landslides. In 2012, there were 905 natural catastrophes worldwide, including severe storms, droughts, tornadoes, earthquakes, floods, hailstorms, typhoons, wildfires, and hurricanes. Nearly 50% of the fatalities caused by a natural disaster in 2012 were due to hydrological events like flooding or mass movements. Hurricanes are large, spiraling tropical storms that can pack wind speed of over 160 miles an hour and unleash more than 2.4 trillion gallons of rain a day. Hurricanes can be coupled with storm surges and severe flooding. Landslide often accompany earthquakes, floods, storm surges, hurricanes, wildfires, or volcanic activity. They are often more damaging and deadly than the triggering event. <music> 
Geological hazards are a natural phenomenon that causes devastating loss of life and property all over the world. Other related geological hazards that commonly strike the Philippines are rain-induced landslides and sinkholes. The two common geological hazards are landslide and the sinkhole. So what is a landslide? The word landslide describes a wide variety of processes that result in the downward and outward movement of slow-forming materials including rock, soil, artificial fill, or a combination of this. The materials may move by falling, toppling, sliding, spreading, or flowing. The following are the basic types of landslide. A fall begins when soil or rock or boat starts to detach from a steep slope along a surface on which little or no shear displacement has occurred. The material then descends mainly by falling, bouncing, or rolling downwards. Rocks fall are usually triggered by earthquakes. Another type of landslide is a topple or tumble is recognized as a forward rotation out of a slope of a mass of soil or rock material around a point or axis below the center of gravity of the displaced mass. Toppling is sometimes triggered by water or rainfall in a displaced mass. Another type of landslide is the slide. This is the landslide of which the head of the displaced material may move almost vertically downward and the upper surface of the displaced material may tilt backward toward the scarp. If the slide is rotational and has several parallel curved planes of movement, it is called slump. Another type of landslide is a flow. A flow is a spatially continuous movement in which the surfaces of shear are short-lived, closely spaced, and usually not preserved. The component velocities in the displacing mass of a flow resemble those in the viscous liquid. Often, there is a gradation of change from slides to flows depending on the water content, mobility, and evolution of the movement. Another geological hazard is the sinkhole. So what is a sinkhole? A sinkhole is a depression or hole in the ground caused by some form of collapse of the surface layer. The ground caves in all of the sudden, creating large holes in the ground and sometimes devouring the whole buildings. The following are the most common types of sinkholes. Solution or dissolution sinkholes. It occurs in areas where limestone is exposed at the surface or is covered by thin layers of soil or sand. Results in a gradual downward movement of the land surface and the development of a depression that collects increasing amounts of surface runoff. Another common type of sinkhole is the cover collapse sinkholes. It occurs when a solution cavity develops in the limestone to such a size that the overflowing cover material can no longer support its own weight. When a collapse occurs, it is generally very abrupt and can be catastrophic. Another common type of sinkhole is the cover subsidence sinkhole. It occurs when the cover materials is relatively incohesive and permeable. The individual grains of sand move downward in sequence to replace grains that have already moved downward to replace dissolved limestones. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.